Hello, hello. So I thought I would I would show you how to install a virtual machine on a TrueNAS scale. And I'm using version 23.10.2 here. And yeah, I got a couple of stuff here. I also got the 10 gigabit network here stuff. But I assume that you already set up your pool, storage pool, and your data sets. And I have a data set where I will store the ISO files. And this, there's a kind of weird thing with this um, setup. Uh, I can't use the ones that I already have here. I have to manually sort of upload them. Uh, anyway, so you go to virtualization here and you can see I already got a virtual machine here. Uh, and they boot the server, but I'm going to create a new one for testing for this video. So up here in the right corner, you press add. Isolate Linux because Linux server name, Ubu test. And for the most part, I'm using the default settings here. Uh, the ones that I'm going to change is this one. Start on boot. And also, password and this is not the password for the server it's actually for the display uh, that I'm going to show you later so I just use a simple one here one two three and then I need to scroll up here I got one CPU in my NAS I keep it at one a number of cores let's say four or threads as well. Um, CPU mode is set to custom, so you can select your own type of CPU here, like Pentium 3 or whatever. Um, I'm not going to do that. I select custom here and select host model instead. So it's going to use the internal CPU. Amount of RAM for the virtual machine. Let's see. Uh, Go with 16 for this. Uh, minimum, this is optional. Minimum is an option. I'll select two. Gib. And nothing else. Press next. Disks. Uh, I change this one to Vertio. And where to save them? I have a dedicated data set, data set for the VMs. Size of the disk, 250. Next, network. Uh, yeah, let it be and attach network card. I only got one, so you can select whatever you want here. Next, installation media, and here's the problem. Uh, I can't really select an ISO file right here for some weird reason. Because when you get to the uh, confirmation options and click save, I get an error message. So I have to actually click on upload new image file. And I select where to save it in these ISO files. And then choose file. And this is my Ubuntu library. Let's go with the LTS version. Live server. This one, open and upload. This is going pretty fast because I got a 10 gigabit network on uh, everything, basically. <clears throat> All right, then you click next and you can have a dedicated Graphics card for the virtual machine. You can select one over here. I'm not going to do that. Uh, just make sure that the display device is checked. And then you click next and you get confirm options and save. And here we got the new virtual machine. So you click here, get some information and 
yeah got some options here it's not powered on yet uh, so what you do here is you click start and now it's actually started up but you can't really see anything you can't see the console so to do that you have this display and it will open a new tab and here's the password that you typed in the setup one two three and now you got the console for the virtual machine and yeah i'm going to install this uh, kind of pause the video because there is a setting after you install this server that you need to do in on the nas you need to remove the um, installation media so try and stuff and yeah i'm going to pause it while it install right now it's just booting up and i'm going to go show you some tips uh, during the installation here so keep it with me so soon the and here we go this is the installer itself and you need to sort of click in this area so it will so you can for some reason there's a kind of weird bug yeah there we go sometimes the uh, keyboard doesn't really work for some reason so this is the language of the server itself so let's see English and I'm actually having a Swedish keyboard so I just tab here to this one layout to Swedish but if you have an English keyboard just to let it be as it is and for some reason uh, this actually doesn't really work on the virtual machine for some reason but uh, yeah and you use the tab key to move between the settings here. So right now I'm at the bottom here, done. Press enter. Here's another tip. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use all the software included in, in it. Uh, if you install this on real hardware, I suggest you use the search for third party drivers. You don't need this if you install it as a virtual machine. Even if you select this, it's going to say like, well, this is a virtual machine. We're not going to install drivers. So just press enter here. And this is the network. It's just automatic. Pro proxy address, just leave it as default. And now it's going to test the proxy. And it passed. I'll press enter and over here the disks use the entire disk yes i'm going to press tab and go down here where it says you know set up this disk as lvm group i'm not going to do that so just press space here to uncheck it then tab down to done and you get a summary here so just press done will you continue yes continue your name press whatever you want uh, server name ubu test whatever pick a username ubu <laughs> this is a test machine password one two three four five one two three four five press done uh, Ubuntu Pro it's basically for companies it's a subscription based for updates skip for now because I'm not a business continue install SSH server yes so I press space here check it import identity no and right here uh, i'm not going to install any extra stuff so i just press tab here and now it will install 
So let's see how long it will take. It should be kind of fast. I got the SSDs on the NAS, so it should be kind of fast here. Let's see how it works. <clears throat> Last time I installed this, this uh, sort of console tab kind of locked out. I couldn't do anything. Uh, so it's kind of weird. Okay, now it seems to be done. Let's see if this works. Yes. Reboot now. And it's going to say that failed unmounting CD-ROM. So now you can actually just close this tab. Close it off and you need to log into the NAS again. And you can see it's still powered on, uh, running. So you click power off right here. Now it's offline and now, uh, let's see, you go to, yeah, you click devices here while it's off and you can see it's a CD-ROM here. So you click that one and delete because otherwise the installer will boot again. <laughs> then you go back to virtualization and you got Ubuntu test here. And you power it on. Then you click on display to get to the console. One, two, three. And now you can see that the server is booting up. And this is the first time it will boot up. So it's going to do some st extra stuff like that. Some hashes or whatever for the SSH. But now you can actually log in. So let's see, Ubu, I think it was. And one, two, three, four, five. And now we got a virtual machine. Uh, you don't need to use this interface every time. You can actually just use on Windows. You can use like Power uh, Shell. You don't need the putty or anything. You can use PowerShell to connect. And you do it the same way um, as you do like on a Linux, Linux system. So let's see what was the IP again, 106. So what you do is, I think it was SSH and then the name of the server was it Ubu test. No, it should be the username. And it was Ubu, I think it was. <laughs> and then, then the server name or the IP to the one. Yeah, you do the same way as you do on Linux, basically. So yeah, that's how you install it. And I did it under 15 minutes. So of course you need to do run the updates and whatever. And here's kind of the, the weird thing. Let's see if I can do this sudo apt. Yeah, okay, kind of weird. Yeah, and the keyboard doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, this happens when I type. So that's why I rather use the console or whatever, but uh, to type. But this is how you install it. Um, I basically can't install anything. I can't type anything. So it's a little bit buggy, but uh, yeah, right now you can just close this down. And if you want to start it, you can let's see stop. Just power off for now. Now you got a virtual machine. So yeah, that's how you do it. So catch you later.